Lions are called the kings of the jungle. That should mean that they're the toughest of the tough. But as it happens, while they may be the kings, they're not the best fighters. These are animals that can defeat a lion easily. Number 15. The Tiger In a claw-to-claw -claw combat, the tiger is a formidable opponent. There are many recorded tiger victories against the supposed king of the jungle, and in ancient Rome, the two big cats were often placed in one-on-one -on -one fight to the death battles. Art that depicts the fights generally showed the tiger as the victor. And in more contemporary confrontations, the tiger still seems to have the deadliest moves. While the tiger and the lion appear fairly well matched in terms of teeth and speed, as well as general size, the tiger is an extremely powerful and muscular animal. So in a fight against a single individual lion, the tigers definitely got the upper paw. In 2011 at the Ankara Zoo in Turkey, a tiger found its way into the lion's enclosure and was witnessed killing the lion with a single ruthlessly efficient swipe of its paw. The tiger then managed to sever the lion's jugular vein with one swing of its super sharp nails, which is brutal. But as tigers, like many other big cats, are generally solitary, the lion, again, has the advantage of their group mentality. These guys know where there's strength in numbers. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Rhinos now, you know how it goes. You've been having a bath at the local watering hole, when a group of flippin' lions turns up and begins to threaten to eat you. They've got no respect for your privacy and they just hang around waiting for you to get out of the water. No offer of a towel or anything. The cheekiness of it. Well, bored by their idle threats, you eventually resign yourself to being at the end of your relaxing soak and these lions start trying to have a go at you. I mean, seriously, have they not seen your epic frame? So three against one, well, it looks like the lions probably got this one in the bag. And they do have a go. But unfortunately for the lion, the rhino has some thick skin, even up to a couple of inches thick. She's also massive and powerful with a really pointy horn. And when the mighty rhino's out of the water and on an equal footing with the lions, she simply outsmarts them. In fact, she just chases them in a couple of little circles and leaves the bewildered big cats in the dust. That's an incredible creature that barely breaks a sweat. Number 13. Hyenas A pack of hyenas is a terrifying thing, even for an African lion. The thing about lions and hyenas is that they basically do hate each other. The two species are in competition for food and have even been known to attempt to steal a fresh kill from one another. So how do they fare in a fight? Well, hyenas are always in a massive pack. There is safety in numbers for a start, but these animals have also been known to work together and be much stronger and more effective hunters. We've seen lions doing exactly the same thing. The thing is that sometimes lions do get a bit overconfident, and it's probably all that king of the jungle chat that goes on and gets to their heads. A lone lion, however, is the target for a pack of hyenas, and even a massive male lion has reason to be nervous. Hyenas will circle a lion, hooting and hollering, gradually poking and prodding at the big cat, getting even more confident and wearing the lion down. It's really hard to get away from a pack of hyenas. They have every route covered, and they'll begin taking turns and nipping and biting at you. <laughs> this is simply a numbers game, and the hyenas are so effective in the pack, but chuck in a few more lions and their tactics have to adapt. A few lions means that hyenas have to go for each one individually, thinning the lion's numbers and chasing them off. It's pretty creepy just how efficient these creatures are, like a bunch of mocking bullies, circling and laughing. Oh, my childhood. Number 12. The Elephant 
Now with all of their years of experience, and they can live up to an average of 65 years, older elephants do have a few tricks up their sleeves. Lions are even capable of killing elephants. The size of male lions means that even a single lion has the power to take down an elephant, although lions will usually work in a group to hunt an elephant down. Lions do take younger elephants and females, as they tend to be smaller and therefore easier to wrestle with. Scientists have conducted some experiments to see how elephants respond to lions. They played recordings of a lion's roar. The older female elephants reacted first, and the rest of the herd would then draw in closer. The eldest females that were 60 years or older recognized and responded most quickly to the roar of the male lion. Their lifetime of experience had taught these older elephants to recognize different dangers by the slightly different sound of the roar. Elephants, well, they're the strongest of all land animals. Not much can survive their tree-felling strength. Even a lion could be overcome by a stampeding one. But it seems as though the elephant's best defense is actually using its brain power, working together to protect the whole herd. Elephants' experience can literally save their lives. It's true, then, that an elephant never forgets. Number 11. The African Buffalo African buffalo have got this defense strategy sussed. They're constantly on the lion's radar for lunch, and they have had to develop some mad skills in order to beat off lions at attacks. But let's see what they can actually do. The sheer size of a buffalo is their biggest weapon, using their massive weight and big old horns to deadly effect when they encounter a lion. African buffalo can weigh in at up to 1,900 pounds and may even be as big as 11 feet long. They hang around in massive herds, traveling together to make things safer. And they're awesome swimmers as well. So this is one way they can avoid even coming into contact with a water-averse lion. One of their coolest lion prevention techniques, though, is the white birds that often travel on the buffalo's backs, known as ox peckers. They feed on the insects that like to live on the buffalo, but they're also like an early warning system for an imminent big cat attack, because they hiss when a lion's near. So these are all the ways that they can avoid a lion altogether, but just how deadly is the buffalo? Well, these guys don't mess about. If they do come across a pride of sleeping lazy lions, they'll simply just charge and trample right over them. What a rude awakening. This is actually going to kill or injure those that get trapped under the stampeding herd, or it may just scatter the rest and cause chaos and confusion. So the buffalo's motto? Well, it surely has to be, offense is the best defense. And I surely wouldn't want to offend any of them. Number 10. The Leopard Although leopards and lions are both big cats, lions are generally bigger and stronger and have the benefit of living and working in a pride. The leopard, however, doesn't seem to have too much to fear from a lion. They aren't often hunted by them. Although it has been known, usually the worst happens and frequently does, is that a leopard puts in all the effort of hunting and killing its meal, only to have a group of lazy lions come in and pinch it off him. Lions lounge around all day and they can't even be bothered to catch their own tea. But just wait till the leopard's done all the work and relieve them of their efforts instead. Now this may just be why leopards are such efficient climbers and are known to haul their prey up a tree in order to keep it out of the reach of other animals, which include lions and hyenas who are on the scavenge. What gives the leopard an edge over their big cat rivals, though, is their extremely stealthy style. They're nocturnal and generally hunt at night. So when that's combined with their ability to camouflage and creep without being noticed, it makes them a fairly tricky opponent. As usual though, the lion does have an advantage of hanging around in a big group, and that's enough to put off all but the most reckless of leopards. Mmm, meow. Number 9. The Zebra now, it's not often that a zebra can actually walk away from a lion attack, but every once in a while, a zebra can actually land the perfect kick and beat a hasty retreat. And that's just how this zebra fought off a massive maned lion and left relatively unscathed. 
It looks like all the lion attacking zebra scenes that you've witnessed before. I mean, we mostly know how it ends. A bit of a scuffle, a deadly bite, followed by a ripping of the throat before the inevitable pictures of zebra bits and blood smeared lions looking pleased with themselves. Well, this zebra had seen that movie as well, and he was in no mood to become the messy lunch feast of the local pride. In a terrifying moment, the lion had grabbed a hold of the zebra, and it looked like a done deal. But then the squirming zebra shook the lion loose and delivered an almighty double hoof blow to the surprised lion's face. To add insult to injury, the stunned lion promptly landed in a muddy puddle as well. And then the zebra hoofed it right on out of there. Now I don't know whether the zebra can actually produce a kick that will kill a lion, but this lion certainly died a little bit of a social death and then went home with its tail between its legs. Number 8. Porcupines How does a rodent that weighs only 40 pounds fend off or even kill a mighty big cat that weighs 400? It seems like there's really no way that it could happen. On paper, the lion has it all strength, speed, size. But the rodent in question, well, it's a porcupine. And these prickly little creatures have a unique and sometimes deadly weapon at their disposal. You'd think that lions would have stopped trying to eat porcupines by now. It rarely ends well for them. Porcupines, as you probably know, are covered in really sharp quills. These prickly sticks can poke into a persistent lion. It all sounds uncomfortable. However, these sharp pokers, well, they can actually cause fatal injury. If one pierces the lion's heart or a major artery, that big cat's going to literally bleed to death. And the porcupine, well, it would probably just trot away minus a quill or two. That instant death spear isn't the only way that an encounter with a porcupine can end up in big trouble for a lion. Scientists have actually discovered that lions, which have porcupine quills stuck in them, can suffer from long-term problems. They may find it hard to hunt, depending on where the quills are lodged in, and this can make them more likely to attack humans or livestock, both of which usually spell death for a lion in the end. A man-eating lion that was killed in 1965 had a porcupine quill stuck right up its nose. Ouch! The lion had been unable to hunt, and its sense of smell was compromised. So in the end, out of desperation, he ended up killing a human, and then that became the end of him. Death by a thousand pokes, or even just one well-placed spike? Number 7 the hippo. Now, here's some wisdom. Just let sleeping hippos lie. That's the message I'm trying to get across. But if you must disturb one, you should keep your distance. A lioness stalking through a national reserve in Kenya spotted a hippo laying in the grass. And I guess she thought that a lounging hippo would be an easy enough prey. Or at least not much of a threat if she went in to nose around. And gee, was she wrong. The huge hippopotamus was quickly alerted to the lion's probing and whipped around grabbing it by the head and locking it in its mighty jaws. Now that's not really a place you want to find your head in, because they have gigantic teeth and a hippo's jaws are so powerful they can literally crush bones and splinter a wooden boat in half. The lioness would be fortunate enough to get free from the hippo's grip with her head still attached to her body, but I should imagine that she learned a pretty big lesson and will probably refrain from poking any more hippos anytime soon. She'll be giving these beasts a wide berth. Number 6. The Wildebeest In a one-on-one -on -one fight, the wildebeest has a couple of tricks to throw at a lion, so don't count it out. A lion has a wildebeest by the throat on the ground, and you would think that it was all but over, except that suddenly, the massive-shouldered wildebeest is back on its feet. This really is the key to the battle, staying upright. Although the lion is powerful, the big cat really needs to use its strength to get the prey onto the ground and keep the upper hand in the situation. Once the wildebeest manages to shake off a lion and stand firm, it changes everything. The wildebeest has huge, pointy horns and can use its weight against the lion. And if it charges towards it, then the lion should probably run away very fast. That's because an impaling on a wildebeest's horns, well, that's going to be pretty uncomfortable to say the least. Number 5. 
Gorilla Gorillas and lions would most likely never actually encounter each other in the wild because gorillas live in the mountainous areas of Africa, whereas lions live predominantly in the savanna grasslands. But if you want to know which of the two mightiest of creatures would win in hand-to-hand -hand combat, we could have a look at how that might go down. Silverback gorillas are super duper intimidating. Full-grown males can be up to six feet tall and weigh in at 500 pounds, just like my Uncle Jerry. They're not to be messed with. The thing is though, these guys are vegetarians, not like my Uncle Jerry. Now, that doesn't mean that they aren't able to snap an opponent like a twig, it just means that they're not really interested in eating them afterwards. The lion, however, kills to eat, so that makes him a different kind of opponent. Weighing around the same as a silverback gorilla, African lions are fairly evenly matched. If a lion were to use its stealth to attack a gorilla, it would definitely have the upper hand, but if the gorilla was actually aware of the lion, then it has much more stamina and would eventually wear the attacking lion out. So there's not a whole lot in it really. The mighty strength of the gorilla might swing in its favor, but the lion has all the hunting moves. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 4. Jaguar The muscular and powerful jaguar can grow up to about 6 feet long and is only slightly smaller than the biggest of the big cats being tigers and lions. These majestic animals live in a different part of the world from the lion, so the likelihood of the two creatures ever meeting in the wild is actually pretty remote. But if they were to go head to head, who do you believe would likely win? As the jaguar stalks the land in Central America, some of their prey can be fairly hefty and dangerous themselves. I mean, taking on a giant caiman, and these guys often do, and winning is kind of awesome. They also have huge heads and extraordinarily powerful jaws, complete with a set of dangerously pointy teeth. <laughs> Where the lion may well be heavier and therefore potentially more dominant, the jaguar is actually very fast and has excellent climbing skills. And where a lion will do almost anything to avoid a bath, the jaguar loves to swim. The jaguar is a stealthy hunter and will generally stalk silently before landing one decisive attacking blow. Oh, and they also have one insane death-making move as well, those powerful jaws. They use these jaws to bite into the skull of a large prey, sinking their teeth into the victim's brain and making it instantly dead. So if the jaguar did encounter a lion, it would really depend on if that lion saw it coming or not. Because it could be lights out. Number 3. The Grizzly Bear now what would happen if a North American grizzly bear bumped into an African lion? Well, either a hilarious punchline from a joke would occur, or there may just be an epic battle. In the 19th century, an animal trainer named Boone had a man-eating lion, and it had a little bit of a reputation. He arranged a hideous spectacle to test the very question of which animal would win this particular fight. In a bullfighting ring in Mexico close to the United States border, a crowd assembled to witness the fight between a 550-pound African lion and a 700-pound American grizzly bear. Boone had starved the lion for a couple of days beforehand just to make sure that it would be extra hungry and super aggressive. <laughs> The noise of the crowd and the intense desert heat made sure that both the lion and the bear were stressed out. They were then released into the ring. The lion tore into the bear first with its claw and then its teeth, and it was an unholy mess of blood and fur. The bear then used its enormous strength to hold the lion, eventually picking it up and throwing it. The lion hits its head and then is knocked out. Although both animals did survive the encounter, it could have certainly ended in the death of either or both of them. The fighting of animals for sport is disgusting bloodthirsty and barbaric, the practice of putting different species together to watch them tear each other apart goes back to ancient Rome and the battles that were staged in the Colosseum. Now I don't know what you think, but I reckon that it's one thing for an animal to defend itself against a lion in the wild, but it's something quite different and stupid for humans to provoke a deadly battle for entertainment. Number 2. 
Giraffe Looking at the long-legged giraffe, you would be forgiven for thinking that this extraordinary creature, although beautiful, is not one of the most well-equipped to kill. But you may want to look again. There are loads of animals in the African savanna that want to catch and eat giraffes. They're pretty delicious, and they make a big meal as well, of course. So the lanky giraffe has had to develop a particularly effective technique in order to protect itself along with its young. They've got no pointy tusks, no stabby antlers, no razor-sharp claws. So how exactly do they do it? Their secret weapon is in their long legs. They have a kick that's so powerful they can actually kill a predator if they land a foot in the right spot. So lots of savanna predators don't choose the giraffe for dinner unless they're very inexperienced or perhaps there's not an easier kill available. More often than not, a giraffe can simply outrun another animal, so that's their first line of defense. And they have great eyesight as well. So even if a predator believes that they can try their luck, it's likely that the giraffe's going to spot them and leg it out before they even get close enough. If a creature does attempt to take down a giraffe, they're really risking a proper wallet, and that might even kill them. The giraffe? Well, it should probably come with a warning label. Number 1. Crocodile now this is a battle of toothsome proportions. Two of the deadliest creatures going head to head makes for a dangerous match indeed. So if the crocodile has the most powerful jaws of all animals, but the lion is the king of that same kingdom, who wins out? <laughs> Well, lions do often hunt in groups, so this would give them a significant advantage over the single, less mobile crocodile. But if that fight was one-on-one, -on -one, a battle between a lion and a crocodile could actually go either way. The crocodile's a fearsome creature. If it has the first bite and can get a hold of the lion, its insanely powerful jaws can grip tight, which allows the strong crocodile to drag the lion into the water and drown it to death. Ah, that's so brutal. But the crocodile also has a certain element of surprise in its favor as well. They can hide in shallows and then suddenly emerge to grab a passing animal. Of course though, the lion does have a load of dangerous skills that make it a deadly opponent in a battle with a big old croc. They're more agile. And if they're able to jump onto a crocodile before the croc can clamp down with its deadly jaws, then the lion's most likely going to get the upper hand. It's all a matter of who gets in the first bite in this matchup. First bite and last laugh. With so many animals learning deadly anti-lion moves, it's no small wonder that these big cats love to stick together. Do you know any other animals that could have lion killing skills? Let us know down below if you do. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.